Hey y'all, hey, what's goody my hoodies? Tommy bites, 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 Tommy bites. Today we are doing a Walmart haul. Um, I told y'all I was running low on my meats, so I was gonna go to a different store and just get all of my meats, but I didn't like their prices and I didn't like how the meat was looking personally. So I went to my favorite place, Wally World. Um, I'm trying to stock my freezer back up. I was running low. So I got a few packs of different things and I'll give you like the prices if I can remember them off my head. My budget was um, $100, but I gave myself a grace of uh, $150 because meats have gone up. Um, but I did go over my budget, maybe not for the meats, but because I added some other things to it, that's why I went over my budget. So let's start here with the baby back ribs. As you can see, they're $12.91. I got two packs of those. The other one is $12.98. And then over here, I got two packs of the pork chops. One's thin assorted and the other one is center cut. The thin is $8.40 and the center cut is $9.61. And then over here, well, I'll, let's stick with the meats. Let's stick with the meats. Okay, so now we have the ground beef. So what I did was, I have never bought a big tube like this before. Um, I forgot my Ziploc bags. Ugh. So anyway, I got this all natural ground beef. It's a 10 pound um, tube of ground beef. So what I did was I made a little plan on what I was gonna cook for the month of October. I never do that but it allowed me to be able to know how much ground beef I needed to purchase so I wouldn't have to keep going out and buying a pack here and a pack there because a pack here and a pack there, those packs are $10, $12. Because I only use like a pound of ground beef when I'm cooking anything. And um, this will give me a good many dishes for the month. And this was $19, yes, $19. And 98 cents. Yep, meats have gone up. So over here, I bought some um, round steak, the thinly sliced one, because I saw someone make some um, egg rolls with the Philly cheese, and that's something uh, I wanted to try. So I got this when I saw it. It was only $5.75, so that was a good deal, I think. Um, it says freeze by 1010. So then over here, I bought, always buy me and my son, these uh, turkey legs. I actually may do a video on it because Ginger Snaps is like, you need to do a video, sissy. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do a video on that. One was 489 and this one was for, 42, but they run in average from four dollars to eight, depending on how big they are. I think these are pretty decent size. And then over here, I said I was gonna start stocking up on some of the stuff I would need to make my holiday dishes, like my dressing. And so they didn't have any chicken gizzards, so I did find chicken livers because I used both in my dressing. This one was 192, the other one was 195. These will also go in the freezer. And then over here, let me back out. 
Over here, I got um, the chicken legs. They were in that other store. They were um, over six dollars. But this pack right here was six oh three. Then I have uh, another pack for five thirty four, and then a uh, third pack for five fifty. So their legs in Walmart is usually around five and some change. So I got three packs of those. And then over here, I got two packs of wings. I had three, but I'm like, they wing wings are expensive. And I still have more meats to get. So I'm like, okay, two packs will be good enough. So I got one for 10, 12. The other one was 940. Um, if you can catch a meat sale, please catch a meat sale. But I think the legs are a reasonable price for what Walmart be doing. Um, over here... We'll do that last because that's a whole meal, a whole meal. So I got some steak fries right here to go along with the meal that I'm doing tonight. And then I bought my kids some little snacks. I bought me some kettle corn popcorn as my snack, a healthier snack than those chips. And so I bought these mandarins right here. I think these were four or five dollars yeah they're up they their prices is crazy i bought three avocados because i'm doing the dr Guntry um diet and meal plan starting tomorrow so um, it's a half of an avocado for your breakfast smoothie but i'm gonna do breakfast and a lunch smoothie and so i'll be using one avocado a day for the next three days and then I bought some baby spinach to, to go in the smoothie. Well, the avocados, let's back to these. These were 68 cents each. I think it's kind of high because in, I don't know, in Sam's you get much bigger ones and you get a whole pack for maybe five, six dollars. And then over here we have the baby spinach. This was a dollar ninety-eight, if I'm not mistaken. And then I got my daughter and son some drinks, the Gatorade and the Body Armor, which is partly owned by Kobe Bryant. Um, just thought I'd throw that bit of information in there. I don't know why. And then I bought him some more of the Pedialyte, which is the generic brand. Nonetheless, it still works the same, as you can see. Compared to Pedialyte, it, it's the same thing. And of course, like I said, I bought my kettle corn because I love sweet and salty. And those are sweet and salty. Then, since I was in there and they always run out of tiger sauce, I, it was the only one on the shelf. So I said, I'm going to go ahead and get it because this was on my grocery list for another day. But I went ahead on and checked it off. And I have me a bottle. I already have, I think, two in the pantry yeah, two in the cabinet, that is. And then I bought some red wine vinegar and some soy sauce, some coleslaw. <clears throat> Excuse me. The egg roll wraps and then the ground chicken. Now, this is my meal for tonight. I'm making the Applebee's type, um, the taco, chicken taco. Chicken wonton tacos is what I'm making. But I make mine as egg rolls. So what I do is I make an Asian slaw using the red wine vinegar and the soy sauce. And then I also um, ground up some chicken. And I do it that way. My kids don't like for me to do it with the strips. They, they say it tastes better. Not that it tastes bad, but they like it with the meat already ground up. I think they just don't want to chew. I don't know. Anyway. So that's dinner tonight, the egg rolls and the fries. And then over here, I bought another box of the 30 patties. And this um, was six and some change, I believe. And so that's it for this haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that um, you are thinking about preparing for the winter yeah, i know it's fall now but before you know it it'll be winter because it was just seemed like it was just summer so um 
prepare now so you can eat tomorrow. Um, certain places, I don't know where you live, but certain places are running out of things again. For the most part, the stores are staying stopped. But if things spike up like they're talking about, the um, COVID numbers spiking um, and the flu on top of that spiking, then you might want to think about throwing a couple extra things in your deep freezer, refrigerator, cabinets, pantry, wherever you can throw it to store it. Um, I don't eat a lot of meats. I'm trying to cut back on my fries. Um, I ate fried last night because I knew that come Wednesday, I would be um, eating a lot better to try to get some more weight off. I've lost some pounds and I want to lose some more. So y'all, again, thank y'all for joining me here on Tommy Bikes TV. I appreciate all of y'all for coming over here because you could have been anywhere else. Um, I thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are a new subscriber, please come back and join join me over here. If you are returning, thank you. And I hope you return again and again and again. Y'all stay safe, stay blessed. Do something special and kind for someone. Do something special and kind for yourself. Love yourself. That way you can go out and spread God's love with distance because of Rona. I will see y'all on the other side of tomorrow. Smooches.